Hi kids! Welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I'm so excited to be reading you a story today. We are reading a story for Mommy's Day. We are reading Mommies are for Counting Stars. Really cute. I'm really excited to see what's in this book. I haven't looked at it yet. I waited for you guys. Also, I did another book for Mother's Day. We read Just Me and My Mom. And I just put it up. So look for this one too, if you want to. It might be underneath this video. If not, just search just me and my mom and it will pop right up. And I also, in that video, help you think of a couple cool things to get mom for free for Mother's Day if you don't have any money in your piggy bank or no one to take you shopping. In that video, lets you know some cool ideas so you can make mommy's day special without spending a single cent. <laughs> um, briefly touch up just a few things in this one in case you don't want to watch it. You could make mommy a card. You could clean your room. You could um, wait on her all day, get her drinks, rub her feet. You could paint her nails. You could help her in the garden. You could pick her some wildflowers. You could help her cook. Um, Ask mommy, what, what do you need, mommy? What can I do to make your day special? And all day, make sure you give her huggies and kisses and tell her you love her and thank her for being your mommy. Because she will love it and she needs to hear that sometimes. So not just on Mother's Day, say it at least once a week. Mommy, I love you. Thank you for being my mommy. What will we do without our mommies? And if your mommy is in heaven, you can say the same thing. I know you can't hear it back, but they're up there saying it. I love you too. <laughs> All the way from heaven. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our book. Mommies are for counting stars. Wonder what's in this book. It is a pop-up book, so it's going to be a little fun, guys. A mommy helps you count the stars. Do you like to count the stars? I love it. I still count the stars with my mommy. <laughs> a mommy is nice to sit on and nice to lean on. A mommy knows to kiss a boo-boo. Yes, nobody fix a, fixes a boo-boo better than mommy. Look, pushing you in your swing, good to sit on. Oh, look at mommy cuddles. I got a boo-boo, mommy fixes it. Look at her. What's behind here? <gasps> it says, and it, make it better. Mommy knows how to kiss a boo-boo and make it better. That's the best part of boo-boo healing is mommy kisses or daddy kisses. But it's mommy's day, so we're focusing on mommy. <laughs> a mommy helps you practice. A mommy waits for you to come home. A mommy helps you practice with your sports and probably your instruments and your homework. <gasps> Hi, Mommy! Come home from school and there's Mommy. Hi, Mommy! Love you! <laughs> and if she's in heaven, she's still there every day. You just can't see her. You can still wave if you want. <laughs> Mommies give baths and hairdos. If you need an audience for your puppet show, a Mommy will watch. Mommies are your best friends and your biggest fans, right? Oh. There he is, putting on a puppet show. Look, Mommy, I'm putting on a show for you. Hi, Mommy. <gasps> Make her a puppet show. <laughs> you could do a cool, get some socks. Make sure you ask Mommy. Don't get your good socks. Say, Mommy, I'm going to make a puppet and I need an old sock. One of daddy's, one of yours, or one of mine. And you put it on your hand, and you draw a face. And you're probably going to need two, so they can talk to each other. You can just go behind the couch, put your hands up, say, Mommy, this is your Mommy Day Puppet Show. You can put on a whole show. Do it. She will love it. Anyway, yes, mommies are great at hairdos and bath times. Mm-hmm. They make sure you wash behind your knees and behind your ears because everybody forgets that except mommies. <laughs> if there's some place to go, a mommy will take you there. Does your mommy drive you places? <gasps> Look in the car. What is he saying? Are we there yet? Oh my gosh. 
Don't you hate long car rides? Mommy, are we there yet? Oh my gosh, this is boring. I just want to get out of this car. <laughs> a mommy cooks cream of wheat and shouts breakfast is ready. A mommy reminds you to say thank you. I think it's cream of wheat, but we'll pretend that's what it is. <laughs> cream of wheat. Look at mommy eating breakfast. And, excuse me, oh, must have sneezed. I think that's, I think he sneezed. Teaches you how to say please, thank you, excuse me. Teaches you manners. <laughs> Mommies tell you when to stop. Yeah, on the corner, see? And when to go. When it's safe. Look at the poodle. <laughs> a mommy can look like a rose. A mommy can have a baby inside her. And when you're a big sister or a big... Oh, and then you're a big sister or a big brother. So yeah, mommies can look like a rose. And they can have babies in their bellies. And... They can give you a sister or a brother. Oh, look cute, so cute babies. I love it. I love babies. They're so cute. <laughs> a mommy takes care of everybody. That's very, very true. We love our mommies here or in heaven. In heaven. So make sure our mommy's day, which is May 8th, a couple more days from now, make sure you hug her up. And you kiss her, and you say, I love you, and thanks for being my mommy. And if she's in heaven, you can bring her flowers and go to her grave. And if you can't go to her grave, you can pick flowers. You can do it right in your yard, and you can throw them up to heaven. And say, there's that for you, mommy. And she will get them. I promise. And she'll be there clapping as you throw them in the air, laughing silly. Don't be sad, okay? I love you all. I'll see you next time. Be good to your parents and your teachers. Make sure you're listening in school. It is almost over for the year, and you're going to miss all your friends in class, and you're going to miss your teachers. So enjoy these last few weeks, and make sure you're telling your teacher that you appreciate them, and you're telling your friends how much they mean to you, because you're going to break for the summer very soon. And you're all going to go off and be busy, and you won't see each other again until the fall. So, be good, okay? In these last few weeks, you want to make a good impression for the end of the year. I love you all. Be good. Bye.